Okay guys, we're back with another video for you today and we're doing a part two on Giardini di Toscana fragrances. Although Andy was not in the first video, it was Joe, but he's in the second video. This is part two of the remainder of Giardini di Toscana fragrances and we also have the newest Giardini di Toscana fragrance, Almafolia. If you wanna find out about these fragrances, please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. It's Sebastian. We're talking about Giardini di Toscana fragrances. They seem to be the hyped brand of the year, don't you think? Oh, absolutely. So you guys sell Giardini di Toscana now at ZGO Perfumery. We do. Which one sells out the most? Bianco Latte, Bianco right? Bianco Latte is flying off the shelves and we can't seem to keep it in stock. What's, so. what's the deal with this fragrance? I think it got a lot of love on TikTok and... It just hasn't seemed to stop. The hype just keeps going on with it. So so this is the TikTok generation fragrance. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Exactly. Do you like Bianco Latte? Yeah, I'm okay with it. It's like a like a honey milk is what it reminds me of. Yeah. I love it. It's delicious. Mm -hmm. Favorite. What about Bora Bora? Bora Bora is good as well. That would probably be the second best seller I say would, we're seeing right now. Okay. So. Yeah, Bora Bora was recently featured in uh, my Scent Club mystery box. Cheers. So we are talking about six fragrances that I haven't spoken about on the channel yet for uh, Giardini di Toscana. We're going to start off in alphabetical order, and it turns out to be the newest of the bunch, Alma Folia. What are your thoughts on this one? I like Alma Folia. It's a lot of peach for me, also backed up by like a jasmine or like a floral heart. Um, very powdery for me as well. Okay. What about you? So, well, let me tell you the notes. It's tuberose for top and heart notes. Ylang Ylang, white musk, amber, sweet orange, rosewood, coconut, benzoin, vanilla, jasmine, white rose, and peach. For me, this one does remind me of Carnal Flower from Frederick Mall. At least the tuberose in this does remind me of the tuberose in that. They do go in different directions. For me, I would ca call um, Alma Folia more of an amber floral, whereas the Carnal Flower, if you're familiar with that, is not necessarily very amber floral. But this one does go get sweeter as it's drying down, gets amberier, powderier, and uh, it's got resins and amber notes in here. But mm -hmm. also tropical, tropical floral, tropical fruity, and it does have that peach, mm -hmm. where you're saying the peach comes through quite a bit for you. Peach comes through quick for me, for sure. Peach for me is not as much as the sweet orange note. It is definitely very citrusy, but not tart or astringent, sour or anything. Mm -hmm. Just a nice balanced sweet orange note in here. But let's quickly smell it. I think I already sprayed it, but let's Double spray, spray never, never hurts anyone. Yeah, the, the <laughs> tuberose is overdosed in here. So we've got tuberose for top notes oh, and yeah. heart notes, typically notes like tuberos are either in the top or the heart and but in the base this is getting ambery and resinous and sweet mm -hmm. i'm getting some like uh some greenness from this too i don't know if that's coming from the rosewood so or... do you think the the tuberos is not necessarily very bloomed and ripened it's more like a fresher mm -hmm. there's maybe the 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 this kind of like the characteristic of the green stems in there as well. Absolutely. Yeah. And as I'm telling you more too, I'm getting a little bit of the coconut in here as well, actually. Like a sweet coconut. Yeah. That's yeah, it through. does It does get kind of uh, uh, tropical fruity, mm -hmm. a little beachy maybe, but not beachy. marine, but more like beachy in the tropical f fruity direction. Could but be like a cocktail almost. It could be, it could be. yeah. Mm -hmm. For me also, this one does have a bit of classic edge, like classic tuberose fragrances perhaps, uh, from the yesteryear, maybe like the 70s and 80s. And definitely in the style of the brand's fragrances, very powdery, sweet, kind of vanillic and ambery, mm -hmm. but totally contrasted with that freshness of the tuberose in this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What do you think? I like it, and the I like how they did the the bottle for this one too as well. It's a little bit different than the rest of the Giardini bottles. They give it like a nice roasted top, and it looks really nice. I like I that it. roasting. The roasted <laughs> roasted top. I love it. Okay, cool. So that is Alma Folia. It's currently selling. It's the latest release from Giardini di Toscana. Next up, we have a fragrance called Celeste. Celeste is this one right here. 
So it seems like we have a collection of C named fragrances in this video. C and S. Yeah, I'm now I'm now seeing that, huh? Yeah, <laughs> Celeste and uh, Christos. So Celeste features notes of violet, vanillin, ambroxan, marine notes, exotic flavors, raspberry, and dehydromyrosinol. What the heck is dehydromyrosinol? <laughs> I just love that name, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what is the hydromyrosinol? <laughs> so I got uh, this info from Perfumer Supplier House. Odor description of fresh floral lavender aroma with a citrus lemon lime connotation used in fine fragrance and soap applications. Oh. So like a, a synthetic that is supposed to be like a, like Can you a lavender repeat or that like a over? citrus. Can you repeat that over? The hydromyrosinol. What is it? <laughs> the hydromyrosinol. The hydromyrosinol. Do you get it though? I no, I don't. You don't get it. I don't get it's it. It's a synthetic my. It's basically like a synthetic recreation of this lavender or aromatic with some citrusy touches. So basically, if you want to use lavender and citruses you can get it together with this one ingredient oh okay interesting but i feel like it's not necessarily very strong in this fragrance because for me violet takes over with this one what do you think yeah i i would say the same i am still very curious about this the hydromyrus and all that's a really cool accord that they they seem to squeeze lavender and a citrus together which is mm -hmm. yeah pretty interesting i mean it's kind of maybe like a Ambertolide or ambroxan. He's basically ambroxan. Basically, we're gonna see ambroxan come up in another fragrance here. Maybe one or two fragrances in this collection. But for me, when you smell ambroxan, you get woods, you get amber, you get musk, you get maybe some light aquatics, dusty, powdery. Hmm. This one is aromatics like lavender and citruses together. Oh, gotcha. It's not as common as. Ambroxan or something like ISOE Super, as stated on your shirt there. We love ISOE Super. <laughs> but let's talk. Let's talk about Celeste. So Celeste, for me, is very violet forward, and once again, very much in line with the fragrances of uh, Giardini di Toscana. It's to me very powdery. The violet is prominent. Uh, it almost reminds me of the violet leather combo and violet leather fragrances without the leather in this case but this mm. one does have pretty prominent ambroxan note oh for sure and definitely very powdery yeah like you said it's, very very it's powdery i'm surprised there's no like um iris note or anything in here that's adding to like a like a almost like a lipsticky effect i guess well i think the idea of violet is always very powdery in mm -hmm. fragrances for me and when they add violet with iris and then throw in some rose they do kind of create a bit of a makeup effect. Mm -hmm. But here we've got a bit of fruitiness from raspberry. And so I think I'm getting a little bit of a lipsticky effect with this one as well. Mm -hmm. But also candied violets comes to mind. Mm. What do you think? Candied violets. I would say, yeah, very... Have you had candied violets? I haven't had candied violets. Yeah, yet. they're pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like uh, vi candied violets to me. Cheers. For sure. But yeah, the combination of the violets and the vanillin mixed together creates a sweeter effect. The raspberry adds this fruitiness. The only thing that I'm not getting too strong of is the, are the marine notes, the dehydromyrosinol, mm. and exotic flavors. The, the Giardini de Toscana website credits exotic flavors yes i'm seeing what that. do you get do you get exotic flavors I, exotic flavors maybe meaning like some odd fruits or something that's maybe in there i don't i'm not getting any of them very much marine notes either i yeah i don't know i'm not sure what exotic fruits are or exotic flavors are going to i'm guessing probably they're a common yeah probably a combination of f exotic fruits exotic flowers maybe exotic vegetables maybe yeah <laughs> i don't think there's vegetables maybe. but i actually like celeste me too violet has grown on me quite a bit and uh, i'm digging this one i'm just not getting the marine notes and the dehydromyrosinol with the exotic flavors but violet vanillin and broxan raspberry very very prominent in here great combination I'm, I'm we are fan. doing this in alphabetical order we've got a religious fragrance here called christos this mm. one right here so, Christos, is that a word in Italian? Because we use it in my language, too. Basically means Christ. 
So, so this is religious. It's a religious fragrance. The reason I'm saying that is because it's incense. We've got incense in the top notes and the base notes, along with amber extreme, cystus labdanum, sandalwood, benzoin, amber, pink pepper, vanilla, bergamot, patchouli, and rose. And basically, this is their religious or incense focused fragrance. Gotcha. Yeah. Do you like incense and fragrances? I love incense and fragrances. I it, very reminiscent of literally walking straight into a church. Yeah. Very much so, and this is a very ambery, once again, powdery, like the fragrances of Giardini de Toscana, mm. but a really potent variety of incense. You, you'll experience the incense in the top, in this case, and also the, the base. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That amber extreme is giving me a lot of dusty, dry woods in there as well. Very dusty and dry, and I think that the labdanum accord in there is, is honestly adding like some leatheriness to it as well. You get um, leather? I'm getting a little bit of leather like a spicy like resinous leather to it as well mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah the pink pepper in here is very peppery it does uh, create a pepperiness to the whole mm -hmm. overall fragrance itself mm -hmm. but lots of woods lots of dryness powderiness for sure and overdose of incense for sure anyway that's christos let me know if you guys have sampled that one let me know if you're a fan of giardini de toscana what are your favorite giardini de toscana fragrances Put a comment down below so we can find out. So next up, we have a fragrance called Vroso Radice. This one right here, I think it basically translates to red root. Radice is root, almost like radish to me. Radish, radice. We're going to get something vegetal in here? No, no? We, didn't, we didn't. We got something <laughs> fruity in here, actually. Okay. Well, not necessarily fruity, actually. More musky. Sure. It has notes of pink pepper, vetiver, and broxan, amber tolide, clary sage, cashmere, and bergamot. So basically, they've got ambroxan, amber tolide, cashmere, all synthetic notes to create a muskiness with, along with the pepper, the vetiver, and then the, uh, the clary sage and the bergamot for, you know, more naturalistic ingredients. Mm -hmm. So it's very peppery and musky and also ambery. Let's see what you think about. Do you know this one? Yeah, I was smelling this earlier in the store, and I, I think this is starting to be one of my favorites from, from Giardini. If you like molecular fragrances, musky fragrances, you're going to really like this one, as long as you really like pepper and vetiver together. Very peppery yeah, and very... smoky for sure. You get smoky from this? Yeah, I do get a little bit of smokiness. Well, maybe because peppery notes come off a bit like incense. Maybe mm -hmm. that's what's kind of creating a, a little bit of a trickery in your nose no absolutely that's kind of what i was thinking off the off of the initial smell was almost like some incense accords in there mm -hmm. but do yeah i do get a little bit of smokiness from it yeah so far this is my favorite of the bunch in the collection we've mm -hmm. tried and then celeste is also a favorite cristos i like but I'm a bit bored of incense fragrances, mm -hmm. but this one to me on skin smells really, really great. I like the muskiness, really love amber to light in fragrances, ambroxan in fragrances, and somewhat of a fan of cashmere as well. So Rosso Radice is my favorite so far. For sure. And I've started to really like clary sage as well. And I, and I am starting to get that in there as well. So. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Next fragrance we've got is called Scintilla. Remember we're doing this in alphabetical order. What do you think of the name Scintilla? Sounds like Godzilla, so I'm exact. I'm expecting something, you know, super, super loud, something, something some out there. So for some reason, I get Priscilla. Oh, Priscilla. Okay. Scintilla Presley. <laughs> <laughs> That's two opposite sides of the of the spectrum here, Godzilla and Priscilla. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Scintilla features notes of ISOE Super for top notes and base notes. We've got iris, oak moss, apples, pink pepper, pineapple, pears, black currants, amber, violet, jasmine, patchouli. And there's that dehydromyrosinol. So this is a fruity fragrance for sure. It's got lots of fruits in it, of course, the pineapple, the pear, black currants, and apples. So there's a lot of fruitiness here and lots of iris and oak moss as well. So what do you, th uh, what do you think about this? I so we super. We got that in this as well, <laughs> our favorite. Yeah, this is another good one for me. This The lat latter part of this video are my favorite. Scintilla, I like the fruitiness. I mm. like the powderiness. I like the sweetness, the floral touches. It's very fresh. It's woody, ambery, musky, some earthiness there and some mossiness. This is actually reminding me a lot of Hachivat. Oh, really? Yeah, I think the oak moss pineapple combo is giving me a lot of Hachivat as well as like a like a dry woodsy background as well. Mm. 
But the, hmm. same as other Giardini de Toscana fragrances, there is that kind of creamy powderiness in this. Mm -hmm. Whereas in Hachivat, I get that screechy metallic touch. Right. This is not that. No, this definitely still has the, the Giardini DNA that seems to stay like creamy throughout all their fragrances. Yeah, but, but the pineapple is pretty prominent. The pineapple prominent. is there, yeah. yeah. But I like the muskiness in this. It's mm -hmm. kind of similar to the Rosso Radice, mm -hmm. but a different fragrance. This, this one seems more complex. A lot of other stuff are happening with Scintilla in comparison to Rosso Radice. Scintilla. I think this is the big, the big, loud, all these crazy fruity notes in here is what I was looking for. I think it's, it's more towards my, my Godzilla than your Priscilla. Scintilla Presley. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, just kidding. So this is Giardini di Toscana Scintilla. Let us know if you've already sampled that one. The last fragrance we're going to talk about is called Shabby Chic. Are you Shabby Chic? We're getting S and C in this one. S and C, yes. S and C. S and C. <laughs> so this features notes of musk, peony, rose, javanol, white flowers, and cedar. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on this one? I'm expecting this to be very, I don't know, maybe some like lactic in here, something creamy hopefully, and then maybe some, some spices, probably pretty musky and floral as well. This is very musky to me, but also peony rose combo, so it's a floral edge to it. Peony also has some rosiness, mm -hmm. so it's very fresh. I don't know, this is kind of creamy because mm -hmm. the javanol in here, that's another synthetic mm -hmm. note, it's a... Uh, it's an it's a synthetic form of sandalwood so it creates a very creamy effect and a very noticeable javanol sandalwood like a uh, note in this but yeah. lots of musk lots of peony and rose together and the creamy javanol together it makes for a very cozy wear very cozy and it's and it's subtle too subtle and it's sweet it's 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 comforting you know i think i like that uh as well as like the you say a sandalwood Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Javanol is, uh, if you've ever smelled Molecule 4 from Eccentric Molecules, that's, the, that's the Javanol, the okay. and that note is in here along with the musk, the gotcha. peony, the rose, and the white flowers and cedar. Because I think that caters a lot towards like uh, the creaminess of this, is like a sandalwood can fit really well with that like milky, powdery-like yeah. fragrance. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is definitely one of my favorites of the bunch, but if I was to rank the list, I would say... My number one would be Scintilla. My number two would be Rosso Radice. Yep. And then followed by Celeste, Celeste as my number three. And then followed by Shabby Chic. Shabby Chic. And then followed by Christos. And then followed by Alma Folia. Alma Folia we're Sadly, Alma Folia is too much tuberose for me. Mm -hmm. I like it, but... Tuberose is not one of my favorite, favorite notes. No, I agree. I would probably place that one at the bottom of my list as well. So what would you, how would you rank your list? I, mine was pretty spot on to yours. I'm going to put Scintilla at the top, then Russell Radice. Oh, that's what I, I did. Yeah, and then I think I'm going to, I think I would put Christos next though. I think I'm a fan of the, the incense, like okay. churchy quality. I think okay. I'm going to put that above uh Celeste, I think, is what you had next, right? Okay. Yeah. What about Shabby Chic? Shabby Chic. I just like the name of this one. And I would probably put this one... Actually, I'm going to change it. I put that one after Christos and then Celeste and then Alma Folia. Okay. So. All right. Cool. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video of uh, overview of the Giardini di Toscana fragrances that we did not do in the last video I did with Joe. Mm -hmm. The fragrances are now sold at ZGO Perfumery if you want to head over there physically or virtually you can <laughs> use the discount code the perfume guy it saves you 15 percent off remember to click the links in the info box the code doesn't work all on its own you'd have to click on one of the links in order for you to go there but either way thanks so much for doing this video with me absolutely thanks for having me anyway guys thanks so much for watching if you have any questions or comments please list below please like this video please share it follow me on instagram and facebook and i'll be back with more videos very soon have a good one goodbye